This play 79-66 over Georgetown. Alongside Nick Ba, I'm Kevin Kugler. And when you look at this Creighton team coming off a difficult loss to Villanova where they really struggled defensively, it's amazing the difference a few days can make. Yeah, got challenged and they answered in a big way, beating a good Georgetown team who's really talented. And to me, the, the key to the game was Maurice Watson Jr. And a guy who's a pass-first point guard, but he simply takes what the defense gives him. And tonight, they were able to give him opportunities to score the ball. First of all, he did a good job of controlling pace and pushing it in transition. you got to love the fact that he had seven rebounds. The littlest guy on the floor, that's a great thing to see. But here, they gave him the mid-range jump shot. He was taking it all night. Did a nice job of putting his fingerprints on this thing offensively all night long. And so, the little man, the Boston transfer, Lou Ball. And on a night where you didn't get production out of your third leading scorer, Cole Huff, Maurice Watson, more than made up for it, and you got a good defensive night as well. That was the biggest challenge that Greg McDermott issued his team, and when it mattered most, Creighton held Georgetown to 2-9 and nine from the floor down the stretch and finished the game on a 9-2 to two run. So Creighton got stops when they needed to. Impressive victory tonight for the Blue Jays, who win it over Georgetown 79-66.